Truth is, I was just on my way home now. Have a little work in the fields that needs doing, you know? The sheriff's stern visage smiled wryly, and then he nodded to Dee. Just glad I was able to keep this acquaintance of yours out of trouble. Though there could have been a hundred of them up against you, and they still wouldn't have had a chance. The first time Dee had seen this man, he probably hadn't realized the other man's position, as Crutz hadn't been wearing his badge then. His face, placid yet imbued with strength and iron will, belonged to the man the hunter had passed in the hall back at the hospital. I heard about this situation from Bates. Though I need you to stick around for a while, I'd like you to keep out of trouble if you can. I'll put the word out, but every village has a couple of characters who like to beat up folks on the sly. Of course, any cuss stupid enough to go after you won't live long enough to regret it. Nan was watching D as if waiting for some favorable reply, but the hunter was as emotionless as ever. I have no business here in town. I'll thank you to be fast about confirming my identity. Already done. You can't very well live on the frontier without knowing the name of Vampire Hunter D. I've met folks you've helped before. What do you suppose they had to say about you? The black shadow slipped between the sheriff and the girl without a sound. I'll be in the hotel. That was all they heard him say through the batwing doors that swayed closed behind him. Wait! The sheriff's gnarled fingers caught hold of Nan's shoulder as she was about to go after the hunter. But I have to talk to him. It's about my dreams. You think talking's gonna solve all this? Nan suddenly let her shoulders drop. <sighs> her obsessive gaze stayed trained on what lay beyond the door. The sunlight swayed languidly. It was afternoon light. You keep away from him, understand me? That's one dangerous man. Getting close to him won't bring you nothing but misery. Particularly if you're a woman. You said you'd met people he'd helped, didn't you? what they have to say about him? The sheriff shook his head. It was ominously slow as it moved from side to side. Not a thing. They'd all just keep quiet and stare out the door or down the road. That must have been the way he'd gone when he left. And it'll be the same when he leaves our village, too. When he leaves here. Man's eyes were dyed the same color as the sunlight. The sheriff pondered the next thing she said for quite a while after that. But in the end, he still didn't understand what she meant. Before he could leave, he had to come. Had to come here to this village 